Week 8, Game 7 against the Nevada Wolfpack at home. As we're going to compare the overalls here, obviously we're still D minuses across the board. They got C pluses and like a C. Uh, comparing the rankings, we're all over the place because of our four minute games. They're you know, pretty even and average. So, nonetheless, we have one recruit today. We have Quentin Jones, I believe. Uh, the Anchorage, Alaska wide receiver is visiting this game. Everyone else will be visiting New Jersey Tech in week 14. And because this is our home game and I haven't ran the alternate ones that much this year, let's go ahead and run the alternate ones and get this game underway. 11 total touchdowns for the freshman Anderson, 6 receiving touchdowns for Stewart, 20 tackles for Gaddis, and it looks like they can do both put the ball through the air and on the ground. We had to kick with the wins tour back, and uh, because of that, they didn't get as much as a good return as I'm sure they wanted. But in being that, we're not going to have the win in the second or fourth quarter. So hopefully this game does not come down to a long game-tying field goal as Bennett runs the ball there for one yard. Second and nine now as they line up in the pistol formation. Once again, the Nevada Wolfpack is a very balanced team. As That one's going to be swatted by Gaddis as that throw was over the middle. Third and nine now, and they're still going to line up in the pistol formation. They're still going to have the one tight end set as it's third and nine. High snap, he gets it down, drops back to pass. Plenty of time over the middle, caught by Harmon. And that's going to be a first down for the Wolfpack as they're inching closer. First and 10 now as they're going to drop back to pass one more time. This ball's going to be thrown to triple coverage and intercepted by Carter. Carter had a pick last game as well against, how can I never remember this? I literally uploaded it yesterday and recorded it two days ago. I might be getting old. I don't remember, but nonetheless, pick by Carter as we're going to, oh, the Richmond Spiders. There it is. As we're going to come out, we're going to put this one over the air. We ran the ball a lot, a lot um, last game against the Spiders. In this game, we're going to go and try to throw it over the air. And if that doesn't get it done, then we'll just go back to Anderson as I'm sure he is ready to carry the ball once again. As we're going to drop back to pass, we're going to look. We're going to have Stewart open on the in route, and he's going to miss it. The ball was just overthrown. Second and ten, and the Richmond Spiders could literally not stop this toss play. Let's see if Nevada can do it. It looks like they cannot. They might have the speed because they are a Division One program to catch up as they did as we were down at the 40-yard line. But we, if they don't get an edge rusher, we're definitely going to keep burning them with Anderson, and we're going to use his electrifying speed. So the toss play cannot be stopped by the Richmond Spiders as they didn't have the speed to track down Anderson. But here we go, slant now as the ball is thrown behind him again. Hurd is having season one worries as he's not putting the ball in the money. Second and ten as we're looking for verticals with a tight set as we got Jones on the post as he makes the grab and is pulled down by the horse collar. No flag, but we are just outside the red zone. First and ten, and we're going ISO to Barbers. He's able to catch the edge. He might not have the speed, but he's just short of the first down with a nine-yard gain. This one's going to Barber again. Halfback slam up the gut as he's able to juke to the outside of the tackle and fall forward for the first down after about a gain of three. First and ten, and they've already leaned to that side. They might have already learned how to stop Anderson as he's going to be able to cut up the field and get a touchdown on our first possession of this game against the Wolfpack as he's going to take a bow as he had an excellent performance last week as he's going to run right up, follow his blocker Stanley, go right up the seam, and that's going to be a 10-yard touchdown for the freshman. After a pretty decent return being brought back due to a clipping, they're at the 14-yard line. As they're going to play action fake, and Enrique Hernandez is going to come off the edge and sack the quarterback and lose six yards. It's going to be second and long. Second and long now, still in the pistol formation, still looking to drop back to pass. This green's not going to be able to get out there, but McClendlin is going to push Bennett out of bounds to about the original first down marker. Third and 11 now, with the ball in the 13. As they're in the pistol formation, probably going to, yep, going to drop back to pass. High snap, looking, he still has time. Deep ball to the corner, and it's caught over Hernandez's head. Hernandez could not fill the catch or get a hand on it, and what a good ball to Cunningham as he was able to hold on. Second and five as they're going to go play action fake, and Hernandez is there to wrap up Haythorn as I'm pretty sure it's the same quarterback that played us last year as 
he can see that we definitely got some new weapons on both sides of the ball and we're able to put pressure this year as Hernandez has green starred out and we're looking to stop him here on this third and long. Third and long, he's dropping back pass, and Johnson's going to get a piece of him. And that's going to be another sack for this Mountaineers defense as Hernandez had back-to-back -back sacks, and Johnson had a sack, and that's going to put this game... I'm, the game's not over. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's going to put this ball right back into our hands. At the end of one, the Mountaineers are up 7-0 to zero against the Wolfpack. Second and six, and we're going back to the toss. We're going to have two blockers. None of them are going to make a block there as... We're going to be brought down after about a gain of one, and we're going to have to be forced to put this one on, oh, on the air or try to get a four-yard run, which is plausible. Third and four, we're going to drop back to pass. We have Stewart on the quick slants. As I think he bobbled it there for a second, and now he fumbles. This is not like her... Stewart, excuse me. This is not like Stewart to be dropping the balls and not be ready. Like, why? He, now he's fumbling? This is... He must, I don't know, maybe his morale is down because he didn't get the ball as much as he wanted last game because Anderson basically took over. But now it's first and ten with great field position for the Wolfpack. As turnovers are usually what does us the game, usually a turnover makes the game a much easier for the other team, and that's what brings us slowly down as they take the lead. And I'm hoping that's not the case here as Benny gets a run for 15. Second and eight this is another high snap. He's going to drop back to pass, and the ball's going to hit the dirt. Third and eight, and they're going to line up in the pistol set. Is this going to be a play-action fake? Is they're going to throw it over the middle? It's going to be intercepted by Johnson. Johnson's going to get a block downfield, but he's not have the speed to take it anywhere, as he did get a decent return there to give us more room if we do have to punt the ball. Inter that's two interceptions of the game, one by Carter, one by Johnson, and that's going to probably save us from giving up three points. First and ten, and we're going to go play-action pass, as we're going to look, and we're, uh, we're just going to try to get this one away as fast as we can, as... That was close. That's on the double coverage to Barber there. Second and ten, and they brought the safety up. You know what this means. If they bring the safety up and we can get a block on the edge, and Anderson, if he can use his speed to get upfield, as he cannot, this Nevada defense is a quick one. We definitely aren't going to be able to abuse the toss nearly as much as we did against, say, FCS or Canada County or even the Richmond Spiders. Ball on the 49, and we're going to give it to Anderson again. He's going to bounce it to the outside, try to make a man miss, and can't, but he's going to fall forward for about a gain of three. Second and seven, we're going to drop back to pass again. We got Jones again on the post as that ball is thrown basically like right where he was cutting. I wish he would have led him more, but nonetheless, good catch. First down for the Mountaineers offense. And a motion over Jones, and we're going to go up the gut to Barbara. As he's going to fall forward after being tackled from behind for about a gain of three. Third and seven, we're gonna drop back to pass. We got Jones again. Jones has been making a lot of plays lately, not only on the vertical posts, but even in the slot with the slants or anything. That's gonna be a 10 yard pitch and catch and gonna be a first down inside the red zone. First and 10 with just over a minute as we're gonna change the play at the line and give it up the gut to Barbara as he's gonna be able to fall forward for about a gain of two. Verticals usually seems to give us some type of yards. We're gonna drop back the pass. We're gonna throw it to the corner again to Stewart as he's gonna tiptoe down the line and be down at the one yard line. Could not get the ball across the plane as he was able to get it one yard and now it's First and goal. First and goal. And usually there's a couple things you can do. You can go up the gut. You can pass. Or if everyone's clumped together, go to the outside. Look at all this room as Anderson's able to fall into the end zone on the one-yard rush. And we're going to get all the momentum back as there's 32 seconds left in the half. And we should go up 14-0 to pending the extra point. First and 10. And they're going to take over at the 33-yard line as they're going to call an audible at the line. in the pistol set with one tight end trips to the left as he's going to drop back to pass. He's going to find the corner route open. Brown is going to make two defenders miss, and he's going to use his speed to get all the way to the end zone as they're going to score in one play before half as there's not really much we can do here as we're going to have to keep going deep as he's open on the post, but Hurd is hit as he throws, and that ball is going to be just overthrown. We have two timeouts left. Play action pass. We're going to scramble. We're going to try to make Stanley go upfield. We're going to have to waste one of our timeouts as there's not going to be much time left on the clock. 
Third and 20, and this doesn't look that good as we're going to throw deep to Stewart. As the ball's going to be intercepted, but it's going to kind of act like a punt. I know we could have wasted more time. I just got to hope that they don't score in one play now, as that's going to be the end of two quarters. The first half, 14 to 7 for the Mountaineers as they do get the ball back. The Mountaineers are going to take over at the 23 yard line. They're going to run first play. It's going to be a toss to Anderson. As the safety is going to get caught up on the outside, but he's not going to be able to get anywhere as he does not have the speed to compete with this whack defense as we're going to have to start throwing the ball a lot more now to try to get some yards as we could start running out the clock. We'll chew the clock game, but I don't, we're only running for two yards on the toss play and everything up the gut is always iffy as we're going to have to drop back to pass on this third, second and eight, excuse me. As we're going to get Johnson here on the corner out. He's going to be all alone as he's going to be pulled down by his horse collar on the 45-yard line. Hurd's going to drop back to pass. He's going to have Jones over the middle again this time as he's going to make the catch. As we, Let's just talk about how last play, with the block being hot, he didn't just throw it away to Stewart like he does every play. He dropped it off to Jones where he was wide open and we were able or not Jones, excuse me, Johnson where he was wide open and we were able to get a couple extra yards than we could have. Third and six as we're going to look for Stewart on the post as he's going to have a quick step, make the grab and fall forward for another Mountaineers first down as he has heard has three completions in a row as we're going to see if this offense can put this ball in the end zone and hopefully put this game away soon. Draw back to pass once more as we're going to throw it to Barber over the middle as he's going to make the grab short of the first down and be rustled down by the Nata defender. Second and two now for the Mountaineers. As they're going to line up with two wide receivers to the right. We're going to drop back to pass. We're going to quick slant to Stewart again as he's going to hold on and make the grab. As he's going to be inside the red zone for the Mountaineers. First and ten and we're dropping back to pass. We're looking. We're looking. We're going to drop this one off to Barber on the little quarterback uh, redirect. As he's going to fall forward and be very sure of the first down again. As his Mountaineers offense seems to be moving the ball here in the third. Starting five at the 12, we're going to drop back to pass. Stewart's going to have like a half a step. He's going to make the grab over the defender in the end zone for a Mountaineer touchdown. 21-7 to as if our defense can hold up, it looks like we might be able to pull off our first whack win here. If our defense can hold up here, we might have a chance to get our first whack win in history as well as a win over Nevada. If, if it's, it's all going to be up to our defense. We're up two scores. As this one's going to be a play action fake throw to the outside as Newton's going to hang on to this one. Second and six as quick throws to Brown is going to be a strike as Todd's going to have to bring him down. First and ten. This one's going to be a handoff and Johnson's going to strip the ball loose and Guerrero's going to fall on it. Johnson came up the gut and stripped the ball loose and Guerrero is going to fall on it and that's going to be Mountaineers football. First and 10 at the 41 as we're going to toss it to Anderson. He's going to get a block on the outside. He's going to run up the field. Bad angle by the free safety, but he's going to have to step out of bounds as he was being trailed by a Wolfpack defender. First and 10, and we're going to go ISO up the gut to Anderson as he's going to juke into the open hole, and he's going to fall forward for about a gain of three. At the end of three, 21-7 to seven for the Mountaineers as we are 3-3 three and three on the year looking to advance to 4-3. and three. As we're going to go in halfback slam this one as we are inside the 10 yard line with second and six. So we have a great chance to have a good first and goal really short as we're going to pick up two blocks there on the edge. We're going to fall forward with Anderson to the three yard line and get the first down. Remember what I said earlier in the drive prior. If they're tight, you can always pitch it to the outside and hope that a speedy running back like Anderson gets to the corner for a touchdown as we're going to advance to 28-7 to and try to see if our defense can hold them in these closing minutes in the fourth quarter. Anderson's going to take this one for his third rushing touchdown of the game. Heisman, 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 Heisman. Do I hear a Heisman? Last time our defense was out here, we forced a fumble. Let's see if we can hold them again this time as we have a great lead of 21 points with 3.43 left in the fourth. We want to see if we can keep that as Gaddis is going to bring down Bennett after he falls forward for about a gain of five. Second and seven now as this one's just going to be a pass to the outside to Newton as he's going to step out just before the first down marker. 
Third and two now as they're going to drop back to pass once more. This time a little dink over the middle and Gaddis is there to knock it away as it's going to be a fourth down and they're probably going to have to go for it. Fourth and two and they're on the goal line set. It looks like they're going to try to run it down the throat here as we're going to see if we can stop it as we're calling audibles at the line as it's actually a pass. It looks like everything's covered and the ball's going to be knocked away by McClendlin. McClendlin knocked that one away to force a turnover as we're going to go up the guy here with Barbers. He's going to juke. To the inside and get a good gain of about six or seven. Second and three. We're going counter to the right to Anderson. As he's going to shut off a tackle. Take a big booming hit and be about an inch shy of the first down marker. Third and one. And we're giving it up the gut to Stanley. As he's going to be able to break a tackle. He's going to get a little bit of a speed. And that's going to probably be the second biggest run of his career. So he's going to get us inside the red zone with a 15-yard run. Second and 15, and it looks like this game is going to be basically over as we're using the clock to our advantage to take away all the time we can as we're going to try to get some blocks out there but can't again. And this time it's going to be a loss of three for Anderson. Third and long as we're going to come out in the vertical set as... Nevada has not used a single timeout to stop this clock. I think they know it's over as we're going to try to get this one away as Jones was open on the post. We were hit as we threw, and that ball's going to fall incomplete, and it's going to be fourth and 18 at the 28-yard line, and they're saying kick a field goal. I don't know if we can make it with the wind coming to our faces at 25 miles per hour, but we're going to go ahead and give Reed the shot as we're going to line it up for him. We're going to pull it down so the wind doesn't take it nearly as much. We're going to boot this one away with just a good kick. It's up. It's good. This game is going to be definitely out of reach now for this Wolfpack offense. There's no way they're going to be able to put up 24 points in a minute and six seconds. This game is most definitely over. I was saying that. And a big return can definitely sway that other ways. As Harmon's going to run this one to the house. I thought it was over. It looked like he was going to be wrapped up three or four times. So I didn't say a single word. And now they're going to go for two. They Oh, I I may have spoken wrong. As oh, they're 100% on two points too. Okay, I might have spoken a bit too early. As there is now 57 seconds left, and they're going to be able to kick it on side after this. As two point conversion fails, they're now down 18 points. Went ahead and mass sub offense and defense, which puts Wade in. It also puts McCoy, Conley, Thomas, and Anderson basically back into the game as he is uh, fighting for the starting spot, especially with the numbers he is putting up lately as he runs for a four yard run. Third and five with the ball on the 26. I'm going to run the toss play. There's nowhere to go, and that's going to be the game. All right, that's not going to be the game. Uh, Nevada used a timeout for whatever reason, although we're up 18. So we have to kick this field goal right down the middle now as we're going to obviously move it down so the wind doesn't take it as much. Great kick up and boinks. A little boink a boink right off the crossbar. That's going to be a 40-plus yard field goal that bounced off the crossbar and went in for Reed. As uh, this game is most definitely over now. 11 seconds, 34 to 13. This, this game's over. They just got one offensive play, maybe two. That's going to be it. The 4 and 3 Mountaineers now, they won. They beat the Nevada Wolf Pack as we get to celebrate our first divisionable WAC conference win as. Uh, what a game. Three rushing touchdowns for Anderson, a receiving touchdown for Stewart. And two, a nice little pair of field goals, too, for Reed there towards the end. Individual stats, two of 18 for 149 yards with one touchdown, also one interception, but not bad for Kenneth Hurd. As for rushing, 20 attempts for 101 yards with three touchdowns for Anderson. Barber, seven for 20. Stanley was one for 15 there towards the end. Five for 67 with one touchdown for Stuart Jones. Got in there on those deep post routes. Four for 47. Barber even had two for 16. Johnson, a little quick dink, turned into a 19-yard uh, catch and run. Defensive stats, Hernandez with four tackles, two for a loss, and two sacks. And I thought he had a deflection. No, he did not. I thought he had a deflection. Uh, Gaddis, the freshman middle linebacker, three tackles for him. Uh, ooh, look at that. McIntyre, the wide receiver, and Anderson both 
on special teams with two tackles apiece. And Jamil Jones, the senior, the defensive captain, had two tackles, one for a loss, one sack, and forced a fumble and that we did recover there to basically put the game out of reach. And Reed, two field goals, 100% with a 48 long. Not bad with the win coming at your face. Four extra points made. And that's going to be it for stats. Um. Okay, so... Does anyone remember when I was talking about how they don't have victory patches um, last episode, I believe? Well, apparently, um, they don't have victory patches for FCS teams, which I understand, um, or the teams I imported in, like Canada County, which I also understand. But we got our first victory patch against a WAC team, and that's going to be the Nevada Wolf Pack. We might go check that out later, or I'll just show everything at the end of the, like, the series when we get to Season 97 or whatever it may be. We'll go ahead and just go through the whole shrine of everything that we have because this is this memory card is only for alaska university so anything on there will be towards alaska university and it'll be insane to look at when we're done a nice little trip down memory road without having to like pick through videos and you know calculate stuff or because ncaa 14 doesn't have a shrine i know they have a trophy case um and some rewards but i don't think they have the victory patches and stuff so that's pretty cool that we'll get to see that as we're going to sim this week and we're going to see oh nelson did not commit i was thinking he was going to commit this week gonna check recruiting quentin jordan not nelson or whatever i keep saying um is first we're still in the lead for him we just gotta hope we can uh, make him commit Still first here for the defensive tackle, Marcus Williams, as USC is kind of gaining. Um, week 14, we got a couple visits for the New Jersey Tech game. As uh, you can see here, Eugene Williams uh, might be brothers. We don't know. Probably not because one's from Canada and California. But New Jersey Tech first here again. Also see visiting New Jersey Tech first. Also visiting New Jersey Tech first, and uh, not visiting, but Nate Hort, I hope to get a wide receiver as he is also first. And our last recruit, I believe, Sheldon Martin, our middle linebacker, is also first and visiting for New Jersey Tech as, yes, that was our last one. So that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you got to do. Uh, make sure you guys stay healthy and safe. And next week we play San Jose State as, um, I mean, they have Ds. This is definitely another winnable game as we obviously, you could see that we beat Nevada. So that we definitely have winnable games on the schedule as, I mean, some games are harder than others. But nonetheless, we'll, we're going to have to see what we can do with these next five upcoming games. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Someone's making a lot of noise, as you could probably hear. So I'll see you all later. It's your boy Drew. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, give me some tips, tricks, whatever. Uh, maybe some story recruiting and stuff. Maybe will be later. You can create your own recruit. We'll have to see how I can do that. But I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye. Peace.